Aloha everyone, I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this stunning stunning piece of furniture. We found it on Marketplace and it wasn't in the best condition so we decided to give it a good facelift. This sideboard, actually the bottom part of a wedge dresser, we guess, um, so can we call it a sideboard? This sideboard. For this sideboard, um, we will go for a pinkish ombre with lots of gemstone mosses, black wax, and everything nice. So stay with us if you want to see how we did it step by step. Let's do it! Let's do it! I started by removing the handlers and boiled them with water and vinegar as they were really really sticky and gross and after that I wrapped them with a wire brush. I sanded down the whole piece with 180 grit sandpaper to take the shine off and on the top I sanded to bare wood using a 80 grit and then 320 grit to smooth it out. Then I cleaned the whole piece with white lightening Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner using a wire sponge and also a toothbrush to make sure the dirt won't escape. This is basically a crucial part of the process in order to make the paint having a long lasting life and not start chipping off in time. I rinse it 2-3 times with water to make sure every bit of dirt is off now. Next, I prepare the custom shade of pink and I try to bring it as close as possible to Tea Rose, which is a very sweet uh, dusty pink from Dixie Bell. I added two full spoons of buttercream and then a quarter spoon of peony, but it was a bit too bright, so I added a half a spoon of plum crazy and then a quarter spoon of caviar to make this pink uh, more dusty. I wanted some texture on the drawer, so I added some sea spray to create a medium texture composition. I applied it first on the drawers using a cheap brush from Dixie Bell, but you can use any old brush, any damaged brush you have to apply the texture. I dabbed it all over the drawers, but in the same time I left a few random spots unpainted. Those unpainted spots will help uh, later to create beautiful various shades of pink, but we will get to that in a moment. I insisted with the texture on the corners and around the handle area, just so we can sand it afterwards, which will give an, like a an worn look to the corners and under handlers where they usually worn out. Next it's peony, this is a hot hot pink and I applied it with the same brush I used for the dusty pink texture. Also as I dab the hot pink again I made sure to leave some dusty pink spots peeking through this time. So, 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 so happy with this imperfect texture blending created. I insisted with peony on the corners to make them more intense and create some shadows. I also did that in um, some random spots for extra dreaminess. As I went down the drawers, I started to add more peony, make it more intense, while letting some dusty pink spots uh, slightly uncovered, but not as much as on the drawers, as here we will start the ombre effect. I 
I carried on dabbing the paint into the squares and create um, a soft texture but I didn't want that much as I did on the drawers and around the handlers so I create texture only by using paint. I dab the peony down the uh, pair of squares so then I can overlay the crazy plum and create again some uh, shades variety. Same, I applied crazy plum by dabbing it and slightly blend it uh, into the peony. But don't blend them too much to keep that dreamy texture weathered look. I used um, a clean brush for this color and it's the best tank brush, our favorite one for blending. I think we say this in every tutorial, but it's such a good one! Now with a cheap brush I applied Muscadine wine. I added it in a few spots over the crazy plum but focusing more on the bottom part and corners. I just randomly felt like adding a bit of honky tonk red to see what happens uh, before actually finishing the bottom blending as I was too curious how it will look. Well, I don't regret it so we will stick with it. Another shade is always welcomed. Now back to blending, uh, I will do the same as before the red interruption. I'm finishing off this ombre with um, black with caviar. I applied it on the bottom part in random spots and I dabbed it into our pink situation. We'll finish the other side of the sideboard and we can move on to the second part. Now I uh, took a flat small clean brush and the plan is to do dry brushing on the drawer to make those carvings to just stand out. Take a little amount of paint on the brush and then wipe the excess on a piece of cloth and let's take this drawer to another uh, hot pink level. I realized that I covered the dusty pink and I blended the colors too much so I added the bright texture in the corners and um, in the squares middle. I added more red also, I just didn't give it up. I applied peony on the bottom squares and dabbed it down the piece also. Then again I came with uh, the plum crazy. I um, carry on um, dabbing it to create um, that second layer of uh, texture.
The next color is muscadine wine. Um, I added it in random spots on the squares and mostly on the corners and then slightly dubbing it into plum crazy and peony. Then with the leftover paint I had on the brush, I did a bit of dry brushing on the corners, edges, around the squares, down the handler and going around the whole piece. Caviar comes last, um, I stipple it on the bottom part and then I blended it with the best tank brush. The next step is applying Best Dang Wax in black all over the piece. I used um, Le Petit brush to apply the wax using uh, circular motions to make sure I wrap that wax between those um, texture spots. Once I finished waxing, I left it for 15 minutes to set and I started to buff off the excess with a piece of cloth. I took a um, sand block and I slightly sanded over the places where I added texture to reveal those um, dusty pink speckles. Then I applied a bit of black wax over them to bring back that vintage um, feel. We are not done yet, we still have some more work to do! On the handlers we applied primer, slick stick and then we painted them with peony, dry brush muscadine wine, added some black wax and we put them back on the piece. Next color is flamingo together with a mist button and a piece of cloth to create some drips. I took a little brush and I added in the corners and I watered down the paint and then I dabbed the harsh edges with the cloth. I added a bit more paint, watered it down again till I was happy with how it looks. They are such a nice touch, it gives that something grungy but precious in the same time. Uh, next step is using uh, gemstone mousse in Garnet. This is such a stunning um, red super pigmented mousse from Dixie Belle and I applied it over the carvings on the handlers, hinges um, using my finger. And I applied over it golden gilding wax but it kinda destroyed the Feng Shui. It wasn't a really good match, so I added over it again Garnet, and the way they combine is just spot on. On the inside, we unscrewed the metal bar, filled the holes with mud, and then we applied decoupage paper. After cutting it, I applied one layer of clear coat, so the paper can stick to the piece. I let it dry for about 2 hours in between each coat. The decoupage paper was a bit too small, so we've decided to fill in this part with black texture and create some drips and shadows with it. We sealed the interior with another two coats of clear coat and it was ready. I sealed the whole piece with clear coat in three layers. I let each coat to dry about two hours before applying the next one.
On the drawer side and also inside, we enhanced the wood with Big Mama's butter in orange group that leaves behind a heavenly smell. Let's move on the top. Barewood and ready for some voodoo gel stain in tobacco road. I applied it using um, a pad going from one side of the piece to another and I applied uh, two coats of it. It's plantabulous. I sealed the top with gator hide in two layers to make sure we have a water resistant finish. And we finally get to an end and show you the final result. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. There is something new and see you next time.